is Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a vampire pineapple. <laughs> so grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art. All right, so we're going to be drawing a vampire pineapple. Um, just because. <laughs> Let's dive into it. We're gonna begin with Vampire Pineapple's body. So curving line at the top, wider curving line at the bottom. Whoa, mine's not even anywhere even. Okay, try it again, there we go. And then we're just gonna lightly zigzag from the top to the bottom to make a pineapple texture. Light zigzag. Oh yeah, you did perfect. Now, as I go, if I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button. You can rewind me as much as you need to or um, hit play when you're ready, okay? Next step, foliage, curving line up and down to make sort of a triangle at the top. And then we're gonna do two sets of curved triangles on either side, just like that. Oh yeah, okay. Add another line up the center of each leaf and you got some beautiful pineapple shape happening. All right, so we got base layer of pineapple done and now we're ready to add the vampire qualities. Okay, we're gonna start off with a cape. Line across. We're gonna tie it up. It's a little bow in the center. Curve line on either end. Color it in, just like that, and smooth it on the outside. Okay. Next, we're going to extend this out into a dramatic cape. So big, long whoosh, line out, zigzag it in into a dramatic cape, because of course, Vampires are dramatic. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I often find vampires to be the most dramatic, dark character out there. They're just so sassy. Anyway, so we're gonna <laughs> make this our dramatic, sassy vampire pineapple, obviously. And I'm just gonna color in that cape nice and dark because of course, Vampires require all the extra drama attention here. All right, there you go, pineapple. Oh yeah, it's looking good already. Okay, two lines across for the eyes. <laughs> okay, connect the bottoms with a U shape to make the eyes. So funny. Okay, <laughs> it's a pineapple, but it's a vampire. Uh, this is why I love art. Okay, <laughs> you can make anything happen when you're an artist, can't we? We can make anything happen. Uh, okay, in each eye, we're gonna add a pupil, so add another little U shape and draw a circle in each of those pupils and color them in. Nice and dark. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fabulous. Look how dramatic this vampire is. Okay, it's a, a vampire, so we're gonna draw a line between the eyes, connect it with a U shape. Vampire teeth, make them big so they stand out, and a little curve at the bottom for a tongue. Color in the rest of the mouth, leaving the teeth and that tongue nice and white. Oh yeah. Okay, pineapple texture. Just add some zigzaggy lines around the remaining area of your pineapple. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like a pineapple. It is a vampire pineapple, so it's not exactly like a pineapple anyways. Pineapples don't have faces, unless they do, we just can't see them. Okay, grab your pineapple colors and let's get coloring. So we're gonna color in our pineapple, make it fabulous. Okay. 
Now, while we are coloring, I want you to think about what I should draw next, okay? But you gotta smash two things together. So in this video, we are smashing pineapple, vampire, vampire, pineapple, right? So we're smashing two things together. So for the next video, I need you to give me ideas by smashing two things together and we'll create them in the next video. And I want you to put that idea in the comment section below. I'm gonna write them down and I'm gonna try to draw as many as I possibly can. Of course, I'm doing weekly videos, so I'm gonna need a lot of ideas. Lots of ideas, okay. Now, if you have two different grains, you're gonna color the foliage on your pineapple leaves two colors, okay? I'm gonna do one half of each leaf one color or value of green, one type of green on one half and one on the other. So this is more of a blue green. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna grab <coughs> woof, a lighter green. This is more of a yellow green. I wanna add that in there. Just to add, again, we want variety, variety in colors, okay. So it's pretty basic right now. We need to add some more details. So to make, to make our artwork pop, we're going to add more details. First of all, we need to color the tongue. Second of all, we're going to go around and outline the pupils with red. Why am I doing this? Because it is a vampire. If I do it in blue, it's just gonna look even more cute, but we are doing a vampire, a vampire pineapple. Therefore, we have to add a little bit of creepiness in there. Okay, that is done. Now, to take this to the next level, you're gonna grab your gray. I can't find mine, oh, there it is, wow. Okay, grab your gray and we're going to shade. We're gonna create some darker values. We're gonna go up the, up the center and bottom of the leaves, add some value. And then we're gonna go under the eyes and color with a gray, nice gray line under the mouth. And doesn't that look, adds an extra layer of detail. That's always what we're looking for as artists is adding more detail, ways to find, um, we need to add more detail. We're always looking for that. Okay, good. And once you're done, oh, wait, wait, wait. He's floating in space. Or she or it. Add a nice oval at the bottom. Color it in. Oh yeah, it's grounded. There is gravity in our artwork. And just like that, your lovely vampire pineapple is done. And don't forget to give me your two smashed ideas in the comments below the video. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more. Mm -hmm.